ABC 27 is your local election headquarters. All eyes on Pennsylvania today and one of the most closely watched races in the country. The U.S. Senate race between Republican Mehmet Oz and Democrat John Fetterman. The latest in this race this morning, Fetterman's campaign has joined a lawsuit over mail-in ballots. Taylor Toshev here now with more. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Allie. The new federal lawsuit is over the envelope dates, arguing that throwing out ballots that lack proper dates would violate a provision in the 1964 U.S. Civil Rights Act that says people can't be kept from voting based on what the lawsuit calls needless technical requirements. Democrats are far more likely than Republicans to vote by mail. The race for U.S. Senate is being closely watched across the nation with the balance of power in Washington, D.C. at play. The stakes are high to succeed retiring Republican Senator Pat Toomey. This race is considered Democrats' best chance to pick up a seat, but the race has tightened. This race gaining attention since the beginning. Fetterman won the primary just days after suffering a stroke and has acknowledged auditory processing issues and uses closed captioning in many of his interviews, including in the Senate debate hosted by ABC 27. Fetterman saying he's getting back up and fighting for Pennsylvanians. Meanwhile, Oz faced scrutiny for not residing in Pennsylvania after his longtime New Jersey residency. Both candidates are locked in on a close race. Oz is the candidate with the momentum right now. Fetterman had been ahead until very recently with Oz taking a slim lead. Both candidates made their final pitch to voters last night. Fetterman in Philadelphia, Oz rallying in Montgomery County. Balance which I'll bring to Washington, which will involve working with Democrats, which I'm fine with, to come up with ideas that work for our nation. There is just so much at stake right now. Whoever wins will join Democratic U.S. Senator Bob Casey. Democrats hoping to flip that seat to blue. The last time Pennsylvania had U.S. Senators from the same party was 2006. Republicans hoping to keep it red. Live in the newsroom in the studio, Taylor Toshev. Allie, back to you. Taylor, thank you. Josh Shapiro and Doug Mastriano are vying to become Pennsylvania's next governor. Erica moffitt Dilks is live in Susquehanna Township with a closer look at this race. Good morning, Erica. Good morning, that's right. It's Shapiro versus Mastriano with the most recent polls showing Josh Shapiro having a comfortable lead. When voters head to the polls today, they will actually find five names on the ballot for the governor's race. But it's Democrat Josh Shapiro and Republican Doug Mastriano that have consistently been the front runners. Josh Shapiro ran unopposed in the Democratic primary and currently serves as Pennsylvania's attorney general. During his campaign, he has vowed to support and defend Pennsylvania's abortion laws up to 23 weeks into pregnancy with consultation from a physician. He's also highlighted his position on education, criminal justice, and voting rights, as well as health care. If elected, the 49-year-old would be the youngest governor of Pennsylvania since Mark Schweiker in 2001. Doug Mastriano is a state senator representing Franklin County. He ran in a crowded primary on the Republican side and received more than 40 percent of the vote. He has been endorsed by former President Trump. Mastriano has been in the media for ties to the events of the U.S. Capitol on January 6th of last year, including his sponsorship of buses being sent to the Capitol. On his campaign website, he says if elected, he will eliminate all pandemic executive orders and put an immediate ban on all COVID-19 mandates. If elected, Mastriano would be the first Pennsylvania governor to serve in the military since Tom Ridge. And the polls will now open in less than two hours at 7 o'clock this morning. They will close at 8 o'clock tonight. Reporting live in Dauphin County this morning, Erica Moffat dilks ABC 27 News. Thank you, Erica. All 435 U.S. House of Representative seats are up for grabs this year. The 10th Congressional District includes York, Cumberland, and Dauphin counties. The incumbent Republican, Scott Perry, is a veteran. He's running against Democratic challenger Shemaine Daniels, an attorney and Harrisburg City Council member. The 11th District includes Lancaster County and part of York County. It's another Republican incumbent, Lloyd Smucker. He is being challenged by Democrat and former school district superintendent Bob Hollister. This is the first midterm election since legislative district boundaries were redrawn based on the 2020 census. 
Taking a look at those newly redrawn districts, the Pennsylvania Senate 34th District, which includes parts of Cumberland, Perry, and Upper Dauphin counties. Current state Republican Representative Greg Rothman is running against Democrat James Massey, a veteran and retired state employee. Turning now to the PA House 49th District, which moved from Western PA to Lancaster County, Republican and marketing professional Ann Rivers is running against Democrat Ishmael Smith Waddell, who is president of Lancaster City Council. The House 103rd District, which now covers Harrisburg and the West Shore, its incumbent Democrat Patty Kim up against Republican David Buell, a former Cumberland County prothonotary. And there will be a new face in the Pennsylvania House 105th District, which is redrawn, redrawn in Dauphin County. Democrat and Susquehanna Township Commissioner Justin Fleming and Republican Therese Kenley, a retired state employee, are vying for the seat left vacant by Andrew Lewis, who is not running for re-election.